Hey guys, how's it going? Josh coming to you live with another barefoot shoe review. Today I'm doing the Soft Star Shoes Switchback Hiking Boot Model. So that's exciting. Um, before I get to that real quick, I just want to tell you what's coming up. Um, I'm going to do the review and then I'm going to do a little fashion show for you where you see them on my feet. And then I'm going to actually do, go out on a, on a trail here. I, I can go right out my front door and walk to hiking trails. I don't have to drive anywhere. Thankfully, I live right on the edge of, of town where I have some nice hills here and hiking trails. So I'm going to do a little hiking test on these things. And all that's great. First, I want to say hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell so that when my videos come out, you can get them quickly. Because sometimes, you know, if I have an out of the ordinary sale that I see or something like that, I'm gonna, I want to make sure you guys know about that. Because as you know, barefoot shoes can get a little pricey once you start collecting them. So any deals you can get is always an extra cool score. And secondly, follow me on Instagram at barefoot shoe Josh. Because over there, not only are there pictures of the shoes, but I do more detailed reviews there than I do on the video in the sense that I actually score each shoe uh, in 10 different categories, a scale of one to 10 in each category for a total score of 100. So you really can do a more in-depth comparison. Maybe if you're considering this shoe versus that shoe, you can look there and maybe that'll help you make decisions. Plus it's, it's, it's just a cool account uh, with the pictures and say things of the shoes. So let's get into this review, all right? So again, we're doing the Soft Star Shoes Switchback Hiking Boot. They send it to me in this uh, like recyclable, reusable uh, bag with Velcro on it. I mean, uh, straight out the gate, if you don't know about Soft Star Shoes, they're from the, from the crunchy uh, Northwestern United States in Oregon. Crunchy is a saying over here for like, you know, doing things healthily, sustainably, environmentally, consciously. Uh, ethically that sort of thing. So um, they're big known for all of that US employees, you know handmade stuff here in Oregon uh, Done right uh, and that's one reason to support them right there. So uh, gotta love that I'm just pulling these things out uh, of the paper here And here we have it turn it around. Let me get the one without the tag on it. So it looks better on the video <laughs> Check these out. They're dope. Whoa, you know um, So they have two different colors uh, I, I got the, it's kind of like gray and black, so they call that slate. And then uh, the other one is called sandstone. You might be able to see very little behind me. There's the, there's the slate one, there's the sandstone one. So you can see it's a lighter sort of sand, sort of deserty color the other one is. So that's the two colors. And they come in a regular width and an extra wide width. If you know me, I've been barefooting almost 10 years. Uh, I go for the extra wide width because my feet are wide. So check that out. Extra wide, primal width. I have one other pair of Soft Star shoes, which I love, the Primal Sawyers. I did a review on those. They're more of a kind of semi-dress, semi-casual, office casual sort of vibe, a high top. Um, and they have this Primal width, and they are amazing. Uh, Soft Star shoes is in my top five widest barefoot shoe companies. So <clears throat> when you move from traditional non-barefoot shoes to barefoot shoes, most barefoot shoe companies are going to be a little bit wider, at least in the toolbox area. But even in the barefoot shoe companies, you have some that are way at the wide end of the spectrum, some that are nar narrow in the spectrum, some right in the middle. Um, so Soft Star Shoes is at the wide end of the spectrum. So if you're a wide-footed person like me, you're going to want to check these out. If not, if you're not a hiker, check out their other shoes, okay? So these are dope. Check them out. They have all the, all the barefoot values are intact. Zero drop from heel to toe, perfect flat surface to stand on. And on the inside, you have no arch supports because your arches are strong the way they are. They don't need stuff jammed up under them, uh, under them making them weak over, over time, right? So get your feet back to the condition they were designed to be on, hence the name primal, right? Back to, back to our human roots where uh, we let our feet do what our feet were supposed to do before we started uh, making them so cushy that they became weaker than they should have been. And now we have all these foot problems and everything else. So uh, zero drop, no arch supports, anatomic foot shape so you have a wide toe box here and this, this is like ultra wide okay um so your toes can splay out and and be the shape a foot was supposed to be and this is a shoe shaped like a foot instead of a shoe shaped like a an arrow right <laughs> like and you're jamming your toes into these shoes which most of your friends and, and loved ones are probably doing um so anatomic foot shape and flexibility and ground feel now of course this is a rougher tougher hiking boot look at you can see the lugs right there from the side so you're gonna you're gonna sacrifice some flexibility just for the, it, it being that type of shoe, right? But nonetheless, th this has a six millimeter Vibram sole, and they put a three millimeter midsole to offer you some further protection. Like you're out there hiking on uh, rocks and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna want some protection, right? So it's a total stack height of nine mil. Um, but 
even with nine millimeter, I've already, I mean, most hiking boots, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, oops, I got caught up on a little thing there. All right, let me do like a taco test. I bet, you know, so you can still, even with nine millimeters, you can still do the taco test, right? Most shoes or hiking boots, you can't do that. And, and with those nice lugs, look at that. Pretty shiny Vibram soles. Look at that. On the side. Try to give you all the good angles, right? They put some extra... I mean, they're they're really flexible material. That's one of the big draws of this particular shoe. And they put a little uh, extra leather around the front for, you know, tapping some stones with your toes and stuff like that to keep you a little extra protected. But the big draw to these boots. Here we go. Super fabric. What the heck is super fabric? I'm going to give you a few little things that you've heard before in the beginning like other materials, it's, it's super fabric on the outside, it's merino wool on the inside. So water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant. Um, there's one little area, the tongue, and the, so the tongue and some of the seams are not hydro sealed. So they're not technically waterproof. You're not gonna wanna walk through a creek in these and expect to stay dry. You probably won't, uh, but water resistant. So if you're catching a little, little bit of splash or a little bit of rain, uh, it's gonna resist that for you, so that's nice. But again, that's common. Quick dry interior. That merino wool is quick dry. They're breathable. They're flexible. I mean, for a, for a, for a high top hiking boot, I mean, most you can't do that with, right? Can you, can you do this with most boots? Probably not, you know? Um, these, uh, they're ultralight, antibacterial. Now, here's where we get to the big stuff, right? This super fabric, I, I, maybe you can hear that. Um, what it is, it's slash resistant. It's abrasion resistant and it's puncture resistant. Now, obviously, if it's a material and they're sewing it with a needle, it's not puncture proof. You have to be able to puncture it to sew it. But I've seen tests where people take a, take a knife and they're sawing at it, and that's great. I appreciate people that are willing to do those tests, but I actually wanna rock these boots. These are filling a gap in my personal shoe collection for the rougher, tougher hiking places I go. Um, so I don't wanna risk you know, getting carried away and actually damaging the shoes. So, but I mean, puncture resistant, uh, cut resistant, abrasion resistant. Uh, I don't know another pair of hiking boots that has material like this. And you can tell, it, it, it might almost have, have like metallic fibers or something in there. I don't know. It's, but it's tough, but it's still really light and breathable and flexible. So it's an interesting combination of effects here. So that's uh, pretty much the review of the shoe. Uh, I am going to try them on for you so you can see what they look like on my feet. Do a little hiking test if you want to hang around. Uh, otherwise, Follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Don't miss those more detailed reviews and pictures there. And uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification button. And I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you at the fashion show in a minute. Ah, I can't seem to hit pause. <laughs> All right, so check these out. Here they are on my feet. Super flexible. All right, let's go on the hiking test. All right, so I'm just kind of getting out here on the trails for those of you that watch my videos regularly. There's my housing area back there. But then this is right on the edge of my housing area. And this is where I get to hike regularly. Like I said, I don't even have to drive anywhere. I just start walking and I'm there. But you can see the background here. You know, some of the trails, nice and rocky and rough. So here's the, the boots with a little sunlight on them. Check them out. They look dope, they feel good. I've been just doing on like mellow parts of the trail so far to get out here. And uh, they've been really comfy just walking on the trail. Um, I, I don't normally wear like super high high top shoes or anything like that so wearing boots is always a little bit of an adjustment for me just the feeling of having a shoe that far up my you know over my ankle and stuff but uh, that's nothing new for hiking um, but even that part is comfortable like 
like the advertisement for the super fabric said it is super flexible so far breathable i do live in southern california so it's it's like eight in the morning and it's already hot out here right now it's coming up on summer and i'm i'm already probably 85 degrees out here right now so check them out all right i'm gonna go to a little rougher spot and try to get a, a video spot there Looks like they're holding up to the to the test of some rough spots. So plenty comfy, mega grip on those Vibram soles with those tough lugs. Um, as you can tell, I'm breathing a little hard from running up that last stretch. Whew. But yeah, these things will definitely do. I mean, they got ground fill and flexibility, but you're still protected. That's what you want in a hiking boot. So, I'm just passing some fellow hikers. So, I wanted to be quiet for a second there. Anyways, I get my thumbs up, seal of approval. I will note on their website they got four out of five stars. I, I like that they post honest reviews on the company website. A lot of company websites you read them, it's all rosy reviews, and you're like, come on. You guys like edit these and not include the less favorable reviews or what and uh, soft star they they leave up the ones from people that don't like them too and even still they got four out of five I will say it seems to be from what I've read there and other places is that uh, you know early on in the process of making these boots they've only been out a couple months they um, you know we're still working out a couple bugs with the fit and and the uh, sewing this super material and uh, you know it's like armor material and the soles and the different things making everything work together so it's a little bit like Microsoft is what I was thinking is when they come out with the new software there might still be a couple bugs in it but they get it worked out you know and these the ones I have are factory seconds and they feel like great to me like I would be happy if I had paid full price for these of course you know I just got them so there's a the long term part of the test right so if I think of it as time goes on and I've used them quite a bit more maybe I'll double back and do a review six months or a year out or something Woo! I'm out of breath those of you that don't know I just had a very unexpected surgery a month and two days ago and uh, it was a serious surgery so this is actually my first hike I took a little short hike on another pair of shoes but this is my first time actually getting on the tougher part of the hike since my surgery so I'm a little out of breath Woo! thanks for bearing with me guys hope you found this review useful like subscribe and all that stuff follow me on Instagram that helps too and uh, if you like these boots please do use my affiliate link below Every little bit helps, man. Thanks, guys, so much. Appreciate you. See you on the next video. Bye.